All right, welcome back everybody. Um, so what we're going to do in, in these next series of videos is uh, we're going to review the principles that we've gone over so far. So um, the idea of the envelope, um, visual mechanical measuring, angular drawing. And the reason I'm doing this is uh, we're going to do them with slightly, in a slightly different way in that we're going to be looking at more complex forms. Um, but the reason I'm going through this again is because I feel like over the course of the semester, these are the ideas that they're not the funnest ones in drawing, but um, in fact, they're the most difficult really to deal with um, because, they're, because uh, you know, it feels a little bit more like work when you're working with these objects. It's not um, the sort of fun and free experience. You really have to kind of look and check and change, and those are difficult things to do. But, but if you get that, then um, in the long run, you're going to be a better draftsman. But if you just slough over these ideas and kind of move on to shading or whatever, then um, the results aren't going to be as interesting to you. So it's, it's worth it to kind of take the time here, really try to grapple with these, with these ideas. So what I've got here is a slightly more complex form than what, I've been, what we've been dealing with so far. And um, I know when, you know, at home you may not have something that's like this, but you can, you can achieve the same um, you know, the same circumstance by, by just getting a couple of objects in, and stacking them together. So, look at this up here, I've taken a, a pot, a cup, and a pair and stack them, and you get, um, you know, you get kind of a similar effect, as something like this. So that's what you can do. You can, you can find, you know, three or more objects, stack them, and, and come up with something very similar. So what I'm going to do in, in this first video is just lay out the envelope again, and, um, and then I'm going to work the angular drawing and I'll show you the results of that in the second video and we can talk about what I was doing just to keep these videos not fairly short. So here, you know, slimmer at the top, wider at the bottom. Again, trying to keep it as simple as possible but saying something, you know, something about the character of that shape. You know, and it winds out and then it slims down again so I could have an envelope shape that sort of did something like this. Like this. But, um, Again, simple is the key, these vertical and whatever important horizontal divisions you're making in your envelope or those important angle changes along the outline. Okay. And then the last thing I want to do here is also think about where my halfway point is. So, so from top to here to here, here's my halfway point. When I look up there, you know, my halfway point is going to be somewhere around the top of this bell. So, um, so then my next, my next stage in looking at this object is going to be, okay, what are the most next most important uh, divisions that I see? So when I look at that, I'm going to just kind of leave the handle and the stop off, and I see this against this against that. So those are my next three big divisions. So with my, my angular drawing, that's where I'm going to be going, is saying, okay, like jumping from this really sort of big simple idea, then what's the next you know, what's the next uh, reasonable series of divisions that I want to make to start grappling with that, with that form. So I'm not going to worry again about like really small things like the lid or again the spout of the handle or anything else, but just, just trying to say to myself, okay, this to this to this, what are, the, what are the size relationships of those? Where do they come relative to the midpoint? Okay, so I'll do that and then we'll pick it up in the second video.